I have gathered a group of mentally agile boys Yay! and girls. Yay! Genuinely scared right now to do battle in an ultimate head to head and find out once and for all who is better at computer games, boys or girls. Oh, God. All right, oh, God. All right. steady on, steady on. Now, to make sure there's no kicking, scratching, or eye gouging and everyone plays fairly, I'm going to be the referee. We're playing on a Nintendo Wii, and the first game up is Somebody Amigo. My name's Andrew, I'm 17 years old. Latino's not quite my thing, but I'm going to shake it and win it. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm 18 years old. My favourite game is Call of Duty Big Red 1. I can't dance, really cannot dance, but even though I can't dance, I will always be better than the boys. And the next game up is Sean White snowboarding. I'm Rob and I'm 16. One and a half years of intense training has prepared me for this challenge. I do a bit of martial arts on the side. Those girls are in for a whooping. Hi, I'm Dana. I'm 15 and I'm from London. I have never done snowboarding before, but I love taking on the new challenge. Bring it on. <laughs> We can be there. Come on. Yeah, woo! Oh, there's trees everywhere. Right, I get this. Rail, rail, jump. Yeah. Well, Make it just do, do stuff. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Lean towards the screen. Lean towards the screen. Show them yeah. That's it. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Come on. Ah. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, oh, okay. Don't jump on the board. board. And don't, we still have pressure bands back. Okay. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. We might have some points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. After round two, the boys were as cool as ice. <laughs> it's yeah. one apiece for everyone. Yeah. Come on. That's a lesson. That's a lesson. Yeah. Our final game, the one that's going to decide it all, is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I'm Alex, I'm 19, I'm at Uni in Bristol, and I'm a sailing instructor, so this will be plain sailing. Hi, I'm Bola, I'm 16, I love games and I'm a competitor, which is why this isn't a challenge for me. Go, 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 go! Jump! 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 Now, after a very tense third round, the boys have only done it and win 2 1. Yay. As darkness fell, I got word that there were some professional gamers nearby who take their gaming seriously. And serious gaming can mean serious money too. I'm Michael Barrett, I'm known as Bazza in the gaming community. Oh. And I'm with the Birmingham Salvo CGS World Champions. Oh. <laughs> Baza, I don't even feel like I deserve to be standing next to you right now. I'm in awe a little bit. Now, you've taken gaming to the next level. You're a professional gamer. Can you explain to me what that is real quick? Attending tournaments, earning money for playing and winning. How did you make the transition from playing with your friends on your own, in your room, to realising that you were of world-class standard? Just beating all my friends, pretty much, and then just went to my first tournament and I managed to win that. I like how you are about it, all modest, all blase. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm the best in the world, it's okay. Your finishing is sick. <laughs> you can't take my dreams away from me. Oh, look at that. Two goals in two minutes. Where's professional gaming taking you? Around the world, I'm going to a lot of tournaments. When you're playing against somebody, is it just about like the physical play in them? Is there a bit of mental games going on as well? Yeah, I think you've definitely got to be mentally prepared to play because there's a lot of pressure. So can you like proper make a career out of playing computer games? There's one guy in America who's like a multi-millionaire now from doing this and it can be done. It can take you places and just about how good you are really and how much practice you put in and how much you want it. Uh-oh. Through on goal. Ah, oh, no.
I'm Sarah Harrison, and known as Sarah Lou on the internet. I'm from Stockton on Tees, and I'm a member of Birmingham Salvo, the CGS World Champions for 2008. Sarah, you're another one of our professional gamers. First thing I obviously got to say, you're a girl. How come you ended up as a pro gamer? Well, there is a division in the CGS for female d players, and I'm quite good so far. I try. So what game is your speciality? Dead or Alive 4. How long have you been playing that for? Well, I've been playing the series for nearly seven years now. It wasn't until you was playing online that you realised you was good enough to go world class. Someone told me I was quite good, I thought. I might as well try against Supergirls. Ah, oh, you've started early. Wait, I wasn't ready. Ah, oh. 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 Oh, turn around, man. This is hurting my soul a little bit. So what are the perks of being a pro gamer? Money from prize winnings and stuff. I bet that's all right. Do you have like a celebration or anything you do? Are you a big trash talker? I don't trash talk particularly, but people think I do when I laugh. <laughs> they think that I'm being mean. What's been one of your most memorable moments since pro gaming? When we won the world championships. What are your plans for the future? How far are you looking to take pro gaming? I want to see how far I actually can take it. You know, if you put the effort in, you can go quite far. So clearly, there's a lot of money to be made in the games industry, whether you're part of the creative process or you play them professionally. I'm very excited to see where the technology takes us next. Who knows, this time next year, I could be exploring the never regions of the universe, my own spaceship, the crew made up entirely of online friends. The sky is quite literally the limit.